Hey everyone, we got the P40 Pro here and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, the Exynos version. And in today's video we will be doing benchmarking as well as CPU throttling testing. And Tutu which is probably the most popular benchmark. So it's done and the winner of the test seems to be the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, surprisingly. Didn't expect that since from my gaming test, uh, P40 Pro's Kirin 990 processor is much, much more powerful than the S20 Plus. Free mark. So this is the next test, and as you can see, the S20 Plus outdid the P40 Pro once again in the OpenGL Slingshot 3.1. You could see the difference here. Yeah. S20 Plus did it, outdid it by quite a lot, but the physics score was very close. And for Vulcan, the P40 Pro outdid the S20 Plus by about 200. Graphic score it did less, but the physics score did about 500 points higher. Now for the OpenGL, Geekbench 5. So the test is complete and as you can see, for Geekbench 5, the Huawei P40 outperformed the Samsung Galaxy S20. 752, So both are about 200 points higher than the S20 Plus. Both for single core and multi core. The stress test, which is a CPU throttling test to see if the CPU throttles will be running at the same time. And I'll leave it on for about 5 minutes. So for the first part of the test, first 15 minutes you could see the difference. Mm, if you look, the S20 Plus had a lot more throttling issues than the Huawei P40 Pro. Nothing too extreme, as you can see there's no red or too much yellow, but throughout the 15 minutes of this first part, I'm going to do this two times, so it would be 30 minutes, um, because most people when they game, they game for about 30 minutes, which is equivalent to one match of PUBG or even any MOBA. Um, so I'm going to do two of these in a minute, I'm going to do another one, and then we're going to see how it does, but for now you can see there were much more yellow parts on this. CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance. But CPU throttled to 89% of its max performance on the S20 Plus. So the P40 Pro did much better. The average was 179,000 GIPS. Whereas the S20 Plus was only 147,000 GIPS. With a minimum of 131,000 here and 156,000 is the maximum here. But on the P40 Pro, we got a minimum of 183,000 and a maximum of 200,000. So much, much, much better. Now, um, if I go down here, you can also see these are the processors. No, I'm, I'm not, I don't know too much about this, so I'm gonna leave this part here. But you can see the max CPU clock was 2.86 gigahertz here but only 2.73 GHz here. Now they are two different processors completely. Of the Exynos 990 here and the 
Kirin 990 here. So they're going to be giving us different results anyway, but from what I've seen in the gaming test, the P40 Pro does have a superior graphic um, GPU. So we're back and unfortunately the P40 lost this time. Or well, depends on which one you thought was going to win, but I honestly thought the S20 Plus would fall quickly to the red um, in the next 15 minutes. But it was the P40, so you could see it did pretty terribly this time. So if I go down, you could see even though um, the P40 did still get a higher average, which was 180k chips or whatever you want to call it and the S20 Plus was 144,000 chips the CPU did still fall to about 40% whereas the Samsung's was staying at an average of 90% so still I don't know I would probably still prefer to go for the P40 Pro since it has the better performance but as you saw in the other benchmarks, the S20 Plus did outperform the Huawei P40. But that's only benchmarks. If you want to see gaming tests specifically, you would need to watch the gaming comparison video on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.